So for the last couple of days, I've been vacillating on a decision on whether I buy a new firearm or whether I don't, whether I save up some money and buy a different firearm. Like you, you guys know the story, right? So I went to sleep last night having decided that I was not going to buy a new firearm right now. And I woke up this morning feeling good about that decision. And then something happened. Like I started to think about the decision all over again. And then this, this happened. This happened. The Staccato CS, the 2011 Staccato CS happened. Um, this thing is gorgeous. I will tell you from, from an, from an aesthetics point of view, this is a fine firearm. It, it really is a fine firearm. And I'm glad that I actually pulled the trigger. I am glad that I pulled the trigger to make this magic happen. I have not had a chance to fire this thing at all. I literally went and, and picked it up. I picked it up. I walked in to uh, the, the, the place and I went to the case where they have the staccatos. I asked to see it. I held it. I racked it a couple of times. And then I said to the guy, do you have any more in stock or is this the only one? <laughs> and it, it was on. It was on. I was in and out uh, in a relatively short period of time. Uh, but but I do not regret it at all. Um, this is just, it, this is something that I've wanted for a long time. I've spoken to a lot of people about staccatos over the years and folks have had nothing but great things to say about this firearm. They they say that it shoots incredibly well. Uh, even when I was buying it, there was a guy there that uh, was like, are you getting that? I said, yeah. He's like, congratulations, congratulations. And then we started to have a conversation about all the staccatos that he owns and how much he actually loves them and enjoys shooting them competitively. He also has his carry. So I've heard nothing but great things about this firearm. And I even watched a ton of videos leading into this decision. Honestly, I've watched a ton of videos on the staccato for like the last year or so. And I've looked at all kinds of videos on all the different staccato coddles that are out there and um so i feel very comfortable with the 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 history the craftsmanship the engineering that went into making this and i'm glad that i finally pulled the trigger uh there there are a ton of videos on social media uh that that talks about this thing you know of course it is a a nine millimeter it has uh magazines that have 16 rounds here and then you have one in in the chamber it is a 3.9 inch bull barrel right there it is an aluminum frame i think that the grips are are polymer i do believe that they are polymer i think that they are also interchangeable not sure that i will to be honest with you because it seems to fit my hand pretty well a little bit better honestly than my sig uh 365x a little bit better than that so um but just a, a ton of great you know, data out there, a ton of great videos out there. They go through all the schematics and details of this thing. I am looking forward to getting this thing out to the range. I am really looking forward to getting it out there and sending some rounds down range because again, from a shootability standpoint, they say that this thing is is up there. I watched a guy's video last night. He was like a hundred, a hundred and some plus yards away, maybe 120, 130, something like that. And he was still getting on target. I don't know that I'll be shooting this from that type of distance, but it's interesting that you can. The fiber optic front sight on this is one of the things that my wife noticed right away. You can pick that front sight up relatively easily, at least as we're sitting in you know, the living room checking this thing out. The other thing she noticed was the American flag that is on here. So I think she, she took note of that. I do believe that these are made in Texas and I believe that 70% of their workforce are veterans and and that makes me feel a little bit better about the price tag for this bad boy this is the most expensive handgun 
that I've purchased. Uh, I think this thing, what was it, 2,500? I have the, the, the slip here, 2,579.99, the most expensive handgun that I have bought. It's close to being the most expensive firearm <laughs> that I actually own. I think my Daniel Defense Mark, um, Mark 18 was actually more, but came with this little uh, bag right here, which I don't think is all that nice to be honest with you i mean it's okay it's an okay bag but i was expecting more i was expecting more came with the magazine that's in there but then also two other mags as well i don't know if those are steel or aluminum you guys have to forgive me for that i'm certain that someone covered that in a lot more detail uh what else is in this pouch a couple of other things in here some uh some wrenches to tighten things down some promotional material uh, compliments of Dawson Precision. It's an Allen wrench in here, I guess for making different types of adjustments in the event that you need it. A safety manual. You can actually replace the fiber optic front sights. There's a couple of sights in there. There's a yellow and also a red, white, and black um, that's, that are in there. So I guess you can swap those out. And yes, built for heroes in Texas. There you go. What I thought, one of the things I thought was cool, so much of this is cool, let's be honest, but they also clearly tested this out before sending it to me. And uh, two shots that are, I don't know what the distance was, but uh, that is a pretty tight grouping right there. So again, that speaks to the craftsmanship of the firearm. They also give some details here. The 2011 is a match fit handgun. To ensure proper function, please keep the handgun well lubricated. We have provided a quick reference guide below. I don't know that I've seen that book before with any of the handguns that I offer where they actually show you exactly where and how to oil it. So I thought that was pretty cool. There's a warranty, lifetime warranty in here that I need to activate and a couple of other flyers here. Uh, 2024 USA shooting. A um, couple of cool things in there. So again, um, I think there was also, if I can find it, there's a sticker and then there, I saw this little thing in there. Uh, pure to Scott, pure, uh, staccato just smaller that's a little patch in there so i thought that was cool so a, a really nice little bundle even though the bag in my opinion is just okay but that's not why we bought this we didn't we didn't buy this because of the bag we bought it because of this right here i've wanted a 1911 style handgun for a while um and, and i'm excited to have pick this one up, right? A 2011, technically a, a 1911. I am excited about this. I actually went with, I don't know if you guys noticed that the flat trigger on this one has a flat trigger versus a curved trigger. This is the only firearm I do believe uh, in my entire collection that is a flat face. So it's gonna be interesting to see how uh, the, how the shootability goes with that. I'm not going to show how the trigger works and all that kind of stuff. There are a ton of other videos out there that go through a lot of those details. We are going to the range as soon as I possibly can to shoot this thing. And I will let you guys know what my experience is like. If you have a staccato, sound off. Let me know what optic should I get? Because the guy that I met as I was buying this thing spoke very highly of, I think it was the Trijicon RMR, spoke very highly of that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of optics, but I am thinking about it. So if you have a staccato, specifically if you have a CS, let me know uh, what optic you are running because that may help me with my decision making. All right, with that said, we're going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe as well while you're at it and stay tuned for the next video. Take care. Hey, free mind, you crazy for this. Soulful. It's like our responsibility to make us feel something, you know, to make people feel, make people feel what we feeling. Hey, yo.